All right, so this is going to be my attempt at showing you how to set up a spinny straight out of the box. Um, pardon the black in the corner of the screen. I've got my phone propped up on some uh, flower pots, so it's at the right spot for uh, putting this together. But when you get your spinny cube, you're going to it's going to come out of the box like this. You'll have this tall bearing support and probably the brake band attached to it. So in your um, box is going to be the flyer, and there will be these little hooks in the small parts box. Get my number off of here. There we go. Um, so in the small parts box, you'll find these hooks, and they have this little heart-shaped thing. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that the heart thing, if you can see that little piece sticking up there, you want to make sure that that little piece is where that square is fully open. And then you'll slide it onto your flyer so that the hook is facing towards the outside. And then this is your adjustable hook. When you want to tighten it, turn it clockwise. When you want to loosen it, you turn it the other direction to slide it. Okay? So, um... I do recommend when you put these on that you keep them pretty close to balanced. doesn't have to be exact. Um, there you go. But I do recommend that you keep two on each side. If you would like to have another set, you can purchase those extra on the website. All right. Next piece that you're going to want to find is your drive band, which is that rubber ring. should be in the small parts box. And then this is your uh, bearing support and so there's this little clip and the bearing that should slip together there and when you go to put this on you want to lift up this clip put the bearing side facing the bearing on the other side here so it's facing this support and slide that on practice that a couple times because what we're going to do is we're going to take the O-ring, we're going to lay it on top so it's around the tall bearing support that's attached to the machine. Going to stick the flyer in so that it goes all the way in. Let's see if I can do it sideways. All the way in as best as you can. And then on this side, you're going to stick this belt down through the hole in the top of the box around this bottom wheel and then if you don't do like I did and stretch it too far let's get this bend up here I'm hooking this on the underneath so it hooks here on this little wheel and here on this little wheel and it should be pretty tight okay then I'm gonna come around to the other end of the spinny I'm going to slide this in here and slide the copper shaft into the bearing and then put the little clip on. Now that little clip should keep this from moving back and forth and then when you turn the spinny on it's set. Now let's do this with a bobbin because I forgot to put the bobbin on. The bobbin has a skinny end and a fat end you want the fat end on the same side as this brake. So that goes on. This will come up and go around that. That's where your brake goes. Put the clip on the end. Slide it in. And you may get a little bit of resistance when you first get this. Um, but it does get easier as you use it more. So slide it in and then you want to make sure that the clip is engaged so that it won't just pop off the end. There we go. And I lost the clip. There's the clip. Clip on the end on the machine keeps it from popping out. All right. There we go. That is fully seated. The brake band is going to go from this little hook here up and over your bobbin 
through this little hook down here and then you kind of weave it in between these pegs. You can weave this any direction. I don't think it's all that important. But that is the basic setup for the spinning cube. When you attach your leader line, and I'm sorry I don't have a piece of string handy,